Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And yeah, the thing is that I'm going to be reviewing a film that I bought from the dollar store again. Ugh, keep shopping there, them always keep being lousy. Yeah, keep going there. Okay. Anyway, the film I'm going to be talking about is The Child Remains. So I just thought, hey, it's October. I'll do something for Halloween, so here we go. Yeah, it's just that the film is just a part of shit. It's boring. It's very boring. Ugh, just Mr. Monkey. Oh, of course you can come in. No, you can't have a copy. No, just go and get. No, that's it. Go. <sighs> anyway, whatever. Just this movie just blows. Out of all the damn things I could have got from the dollar store, it had to be this. Ah, uh, and sh oh sure, it was inspired by true events. That's like trying to convince me that this is not a dirty, filthy, public bathroom. Uh huh. So anyway, so this received a lot of great reviews. Are you serious? This part of garbage was actually praised. Uh, not the first time I went against public opinion. What were they smoking? I mean, really, what what were they doing, really? Oh, boy, just... This is considered good? What? This movie was really boring. Right off the bat, I can say it's very boring. That's not a good way to have your horror movie be described. No way. All right. I know they were trying to aim for, like, a bit of mystery, a bit of... Thriller, and of course horror, but it doesn't work. Anyway, like always, I have to talk about the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? Hey, asshole, I'm trying to get this video done, you know that, right? Ugh, Christ, just go away. And, of course, Mr. Monkey, and you guys are just dancing around. Okay, you just never leave me alone, that's what it is. Oh, boy, Christ. So, there was this couple... Let's just say that their intimate weekend suddenly turns into terror as they pretty much discover that their, uh, let's say, their country in is suddenly turned into some nightmare crazy stuff because this is pretty much uh, like a haunted thing going on here. And yeah, it's pretty much very generic. Of course, there were these people that were murdered and whatnot. There was like a whole story behind that. Oh, great. It's this dickhead again. No, seriously. Oh, Christ. Just the both of you. Just never stop. Just go away. Both of you, just please go away. Stop bugging me. You Both of you are lazy. That's what you are. Both of you are lazy. Seriously, go away. So, it's basically this very run-up-the-mill type of Storyline. So yeah, it's like some, it's not like something I haven't seen before quite a few times. So basically, it's one of these supernatural type horror movies again. So, oh boy, I know this supposed to be like a, like it was intentionally done to be like a slow burn type of thing, which is fine. It doesn't have to be a bad thing, but if anything, it's just the way, just the way it was done, really. Just a very boring movie. Like there's no character. That not the film that has the film itself has no real personality. There's nothing really I can say that was engaging really like at all because it's it's pretty dull. I don't like the characters obviously. Those characters I don't know. I just don't like the characters. They're not real written at all. And the chemistry between these characters are not good. Um, what makes this even more annoying is that the camera work, the way it's choreographed, was actually pretty terrible. I know a lot of these horror films are done on a budget, which is fine, but that's no excuse. I've seen plenty of other low-budget stuff that had great camera work. This is not one of them, like at all. And people wonder why I don't like ma mainstream, more modern-day horror films. Stuff like this is why. Yeah, great. It's this bastard again. Hey, I got something for you. Here you go. Haha. <laughs> okay, now where's Mr. Monkey? He should be around here somewhere, right? Hey, Mr. Monkey, there you are. 
Hey, I got something for you too. Stay there. Don't move. Here you go. Oh yeah. Ugh. Jeez, just wow. Okay. I'm going to Wendy's again. That sounds like a great idea there. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah. Got out my gun. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's the thing though. The characters aren't that great, really. Of course, some people would just tell me that well, it was a horror movie. Horror films are not known for the writing. Unfortunately, that's true. Also, it's a stereotype. Come on now. Just because it's a horror movie does not mean it can't have good quality writing. So, what? Anyway, yeah, just unfortunately, it just seems like the... I guess the people are trying to do something here. They, they just failed in execution, really, when you think about it. You can make almost any story interesting if done properly, I guess. But it's just that what they were trying to do here, it didn't work. I really... So, if anything, yes, I've seen these kind of stories before, like, a bunch of times. So, it just feels like it is not trying to do anything new. Like, I've seen this quite a few times already. It, it's the same damn shit I've seen quite a few times. I like horror movies. So, uh, of course, I would see certain patterns being repeated over and over again. And just the people behind this didn't, didn't even try to change up the formula. Not even... The slightest. At least try. At least attempt to do something different. Just, you realize there's other horror movies. You do have to compete here, right? But ultimately, you just waste my time with a weak script. With the characters. And just, I don't know. I, I, just, I just thought it was boring, really. It doesn't, just, it's whatever. It's a forgettable movie. Uh, I actually forgot about this for a while, actually, so, I've been meaning to do this for a good while, but I keep pushing this back later, later, I do it later, I do it later, but I just thought, fuck it, it's October, it's, it's finally Halloween, the season of Halloween, I mean, so I just get to it, so, yeah, suck. Anyway, I'll give this film a Nova rating of a 4.8. 8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Till next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later. Just.